Governments are so powerful, they can do whatever they want at a snap of the finger. Or can they? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, staying alive here in Dubai. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to be talking about how, well, you know, governments equal God, right? Because right, uh, they can stop Bitcoin and snap a finger. They can just, like, press a button and Bitcoin disappears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, it's just that it is ridiculous. Every time I hear somebody say, yeah, uh, it's never going to work because governments are all going to just ban it. Right. Um, but here, let me let me tell you this. The reason why I'm doing this this story today. Is because um, I got a message inside of my private group, right? And let's let me read it, right? And I'm going to answer these questions. I already answered it in another video, in a private video for this person. So if you want to join my group, I can create some private videos for you, right? Um, uh, answering your questions. So uh, yeah, let's uh, join my group by heading over to davinciJ15.com. Okay, so um, hi, Da Vinci. I have a general question where so far nobody has been talking about, but which will be a really big issue. If governments all around the world will establish CBDCs, then they will have 100% control. Okay. Uh, so how will we then be able in the future to exchange crypto to legal tender if they prohibit the conversion from... Uh, Example, BTC to legal tender, Fedcoin, or whatever. That, of course, presupposes that governments are in control of whatever laws they put together, whatever they put to, out there to tell you what to do, um, they're in control. They can tell you what to do, and you'll do it. That is not so true. How do I know that's not true? Kind of, well, if you take a look at like some of the things, like look, for example, there's a means of transferring money, not through the banking system, to anywhere in the world. It's called Hawala. That's one way. One of many ways, right? Um, a Hawala, right? I, I went and Googled how much um, trading is, is done with Hawala. Now, this is a, a, an estimate that $10 billion, uh, in value of money is transferred through Hawala in the UAE annually. So that's just the UAE. And it's done everywhere. It's done in the United States, Canada, everywhere, right? So, but then there's also the legal gun trade, which is at 112 billion annually in 2020. And there's a drug trade, which was like 426 to 652 billion in 2014 alone. <laughs> oh, and my favorite, money laundering. <laughs> Ever notice that the governments like say we we we're doing this for to prevent money laundering? Yet yeah, money laundering, right, is anywhere from eight hundred billion to two trillion every year. <laughs> okay, so going back to this, right? So that presupposes that if I create if the government creates a law. Nobody will use, that prevent you from using Bitcoin. Well, nobody going to use it. <laughs> oh my God! Sorry, Joe. I'm not laughing at you, right? Uh, I'm just laughing at the general presupposition that that the government have power over it. So, well, then there's people who go, "Well, I'm not going to break the law." Yeah, that's fine, right? You you can do that. And, you know, you're not hurting anybody by holding an inert asset called Bitcoin and trading it to somebody, right? Um, that's fine. Other people will, <laughs> right? I mean, do you think that it's fair that a Venezuelan has to, like, follow the law and uh, accept boulevards, trillions and trillions of boulevards for his house? Probably don't. So what's the difference? Right? 
why are you com- why are you why are you splitting hairs with this? So going on with this uh, question, right? If governments around the world are aiming to total control about their people via CBDCs, they would simply ban crypto conversions via the code in the CBDCs. So nobody would be able to exchange even if they want to. They won't be able to stop BTC from processing, but they actually don't need to. Okay. The problem is, right, once they were to create a a CBDC that can't purchase something, that will indicate that, hey, it will show people that, wait a second here, you have no control over your wealth. You might want to run your own business and accept Bitcoin directly and quietly. Right. And and risk um, as a business person, risk going to jail because, hey, you won. You have an asset that actually will continue to maintain its value because Bitcoin will still be around even with these laws. (laughs) (laughs) And so uh, you could either uh, accept the the Bitcoin for the assets or and and, um, or you can continue to uh, suffer under the reign of CBDCs and be totally controlled on what you can buy and what you can sell. So other people will be selling goods in Bitcoin and might be have to be done under the table, but that's what they'll do. That's what they'll do. And either you will get on board or you will um, suffer and not get um, the, the wealth and the, and the opportunities that people who do. And eventually the governments will have to cave because they're going to want some tax money, right? Because how are you going to buy goods and services, house, etc., if only legal tender is going to be accepted? Well, I've already mentioned that, you know, people do that anyways, right? Uh, in, in many countries where uh, the dollar is banned. If you can't buy property, etc., with BTC directly, but only with uh, CBDCs, then how can you transact? The answer, in my humble opinion, is you can't. Okay, well, that's not true. That's not true, um, because there will be people who do. Um, you could just, you know, um, let's just let's pretend you are living in the world of like, oh, I'm just a small guy working nine to five. I'm not going to be. Able, I'm only going to be getting CBDCs. Well, then don't do that. <laughs> right. right? Uh, work on your own. Make money on your own. Right. How about that? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're not going to be able I'm only going to be able to spend on houses or whatever the government tells me yeah why don't you not do that <laughs> I don't know <laughs> in a world worth CBDCs we would not be able to exchange our BTCs or crypto in general with other things yeah i mean you can't you can't you can't say that that's not ha- right now you cannot say people are buying uh, uh not buying illegal stuff can't say that <laughs> you cannot uh say that uh, the people all cannot buy what they want if because it's illegal it doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. You'll do it, right? And as um, long as Bitcoin's here, the people will continue to do so. So now you could either, you know, fall in line and listen to what the government and so that you can be controlled or not. It's totally up to you. <laughs> I know I ain't doing that. <laughs> or do I miss uh, hear something? Yes, you're missing that uh, you have a choice. You feel you don't. But do you know that you outnumber government? <laughs> the people who who uh, who don't want to submit. Do you know the, the more more people didn't want to take the shot than the people who were telling you to take the shot? Ever thought about that for a second? Probably didn't. So maybe you should give me or us your honest thoughts about that. Well, I think I just did. <laughs> How can you be so sure that the BTC or crypto 
will have a future in such a, a terrible Orwellian nightmare world where which is step by step developing in front of our eyes. Well, because you cannot stop a technology whose time has come. We've seen this over and over and over again. We've seen technology, right? Where, for example, when we invented the Gutenberg press, they didn't want that. When we invented gunpowder, uh, uh, that was unfair advantage in the battlefield. Yeah, well, too bad. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, there's no stopping this. Oh, I remember when they st- when when the car was invented, the UK prevented people from having cars by parading so bunch of laws. That's why today no one in the UK drives. <laughs> Oh my God! So it is clear that there is there is no stopping Bitcoin. There's no stopping crypto. It's here to stay, and it's up to you. It's really up to you if you want to live in the dystopian life nightmare or not. It's totally up to you. Choose which way you want to go. <laughs>